Hi guys, welcome back to Patro vs YouTube channel where curiosity meets the code. Today we'll be discussing how to create a dashboard with all the real time system monitoring features. But before that, we'll be checking the packages pre installed in my system. So the first command that I'm going to execute in command prompt is PIP list, where you can see all the packages with the versions. So it can give a look about what package is what version and update it accordingly. So you can take a look onto your packages. If not installed, please do install it. You can just Google how to install and there will be a command for that to execute in command prompt. Another command to check for all these is PIP freeze, which gives a similar output where packages with the version will be mentioned. So let's get started with the code for the program. So let me open and I'll show you, give you an overview of the program and later we can see what is the output of the program. So there are few libraries which are important for this particular program. Let's go through why we are using such kind of uh, libraries in this program. So firstly, speaking about the piece tool. So piece tool for system monitoring, we have uh, like imported and also for matplotlib for plotting and for fancy animation for animation and numpy for numerical operations. Now let's move on to the functions part of the program. So first, let me give you an overlook, overlook of the function. The first function is to retrieve the CPU usage. Second one is to retrieve the memory usage. The third one we use to retrieve the network utilization. Then we have a function to retrieve disk usage. And then we have a function to retrieve process count and then we have a function to update the CPU plot. Then we have a memory plot also. So every few seconds it should be updating. So every function for every uh, graph that we have plotted, you want to plot, there should be an update version of that. So every few seconds, the loop should be executing. So again, the next one is to update the network plot. And then to update the disk plot. And then the code is to appraise, update the process count plot. And after updating the plot and initializing what are the, calculating what are the values required to plot, we should initialize a few of the uh, data that have, we have been plotting. So that do it after all the functions have been defined, then we have to create a figure and access size for all the graphs. And we have to set all the graphs with the title and the values which should be used in a particular graph. And uh, we have to set the animation too. So since we're using fancy animation, it's easy. So fancy animation, we are setting the animation for each of the plot. And also the last statement is to display all the plots. Now let's go one by one. So the first is to function is to retrieve the CPU usage. So when this function is called, it retrieves the CPU percentage from the, we are using piece util, so it directly gets the CPU percentage and returns the value of CPU percent. Next we'll see the CPU retrieve function. So sorry, retrieve memory function. So here as usual, again, we're using piece util module to 
take a return value of virtual memory percent and then the final one is function is to retrieve the network utilization for network utilization again piece two is used to get the network utilization by few of the formulas used so first we are cal calculating network input and then network sent so the network received will be calculated and uh, sent to the return function which is when we run this program we have a value of network sent and network received moving on to the next we have a function to retrieve a disk usage again we are using pstudio.disk usage everything is in percent detail since we have to plot the graph when this function is called it uh, gets the cpu uh, disk information from the laptop or whichever system you are using and it returns in percentage value we'll go on with the next which is the update the cpu plot now after initializing and getting all the information that is required the values that is required to plot we need a function to keep updating every few seconds since it is a live real time based project so we have for every plot we have a definition of update so here what happens uh, we have given a frame a up and frame and also clear plot so every few seconds the function is called to update the cpu usage so for cpu this function is defined and uh, the next one so the next one is for updating the memory plot here also an append is set and it keeps clearing and updating the plot for how many seconds that will define later in the program for now we are updating the with the latest latest memory usage which is we have already given above to retrieve it from the piece view so for every plot there is an update function so we have for memory plot and the next so the next is for uh, network plot so as the same if network sent and network received in bytes keeps updating every few seconds and clearing every few seconds uh, and these values are already defined in the uh, about program that I've explained to you how we get the network sent and network received. And in the same way, this plot is also updated. Again, it's almost the same repeated version, but the return values and the values that are called are different here depending on the graphs. So here we are updating the value of the disk plots. So the last graph to be updated is the count plot. So again, the same procedure has been updated and uh, the same values have been taken from the before program. So coming down to the program is the initialization part. So for any kind of program, initialization of uh, any variable that you have used for the graph or for any kind of calculation is a must and should. So here I have initialized every uh, variable that have used in the above program and I've initialized them to an empty list since they have keep on updating and changing we have updated to the list. Coming down we have a separate field for uh, creating the figures and access for each plot. So uh, the total number of plots that have been wanting to plot will be five and for every five one we have to have an access and i'm creating those by using the plt dot subplots for from matplotlib okay and going on to the next we have to set up the plots so setting up the plots which includes the like the access percentage and what is the name should be the time title and all of those are given here so majorly the access part and moving on to the next we have we have code for animation so for since every few seconds i'm telling you for every it's given here the interval between the previous update and now update will be thousand milliseconds which is equal to one second so we are setting up an animation for every plot so we have the fun C animation method already called and we've given the figure which figure we're going to which is already existing which is updated to the 
next one and also the frame range here the frame range that i have given is 0 to 100 and interval of 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second this is repeated for the all the five of the plots and finally we have lt dot show which shows all the graphs that we have initialized now quickly let's see how what the output of the program will be so as usual i'm going to copy the name of the program which is saved as dot py file open in command prompt from the same folder and python space file name dot py so you can see there are five graphs which will occur simultaneously let me just show you all the five so the first fifth one is process count and then we have this usage and we have network sent and received graph and uh, let me show you one by one i'll show you the animation the process count is similar and then we have the networks disk usage that is also going in a constant way and all the all the plots are updated every one second so here are network sent and network received one it keeps on updating every one second. Let's go on to the next one, which is memory usage. So you can see the animation here actually. So you can see from my memory usage has been increasing and then decreasing based on the function of my system. So every one second, the tissue library will get the information and be plotting the graph. And the next is CPU usage. We have more CPU usage animation here, where every one second the plot keeps differing. You can make few changes in the program and make all these graphs in one main window, and however you wish to do it. If you have learned something from this video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.